you. The first speaker that we're going to interview today is Janine Kinsey. I've known Janine for several years. She's a, not only a great speaker, but a good friend. She's a certifi certified speaker. She's a keynoter. And most importantly, what I want you to learn about her today is that she's an inspirational speaker. Help me out with that. What does it mean to be an inspirational speaker? How is that what you do? The purpose behind the speeches that I give are primarily to inspire people to take action as opposed to coaching or training them in how to deal with sales situations and things like that. And while it can be very useful to an organization that has salespeople in it, to certainly help them to overcome their own obstacles, the core purpose behind the speeches are just to inspire people, to inspire. give them a reason to move to the next level. Now why are you qualified for that? Well, I, I have a unique story of my own to tell as far as why I, I have uh, overcome some challenges in my own life. I'm legally blind, and I speak on being a blind, living a blindsided. And I have a story that goes behind that as far as how that kind of came about. And I inspire people to just to look past those obstacles and get, get on in life and don't take no for an answer. Do you have time for that story? I can, take, I can give you one example of it, Imagine absolutely. That. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so it all started, I was born blind, and there's a long story that goes with that, but I was in high school and was part of a Girl Scout troop, and we decided to go repelling. And you don't just start jumping off the cliffs without training and preparation, so we spent several months preparing for this. We hired a coach who came in and taught us how to tie the right knots so we could safely jump off of those cliffs. We researched where to go camping, and the day finally came to step off of that cliff. And 15 girls, about 16 to 18 years old, all looked at the edge of the cliff <laughs> and stepped back about six feet. <laughs> it's a long way down. And the coach kept asking us, who's gonna go first, ladies? Come on, somebody step up, somebody step up. And one of my friends looked at me and goes, ah, Janine will go first, she can't see the bottom anyway. <laughs> That's right. I said, thanks a lot for pushing me over the edge. And then I walked over to the edge, and I looked down, and I said, you know what? She's absolutely right. <laughs> I can't see the bottom. And you know what? I know it's there, so sure, I'll go first. So I took and put on all my gear and took that first step over the cliff. And there was a bottom there. And when I got back to the top, I turned to her, and I thanked her for pushing me over the edge. But it made me stop and realize that I live my life that way all the time. I always step off that cliff knowing there's a bottom and there's something that'll catch me and knowing there are going to be obstacles along the way, but I don't stop and worry about those until they hit me. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what type of groups or what type of organizations do you deliver the <coughs> message to? My, my message is especially powerful to parenting organizations, anybody who's working with visually impaired or just people who simply have physical challenges of any kind. But large organizations in general, as a keynoter, the stories I tell are entertaining and inspiring, and at the end of the day, you're going to go home feeling good about yourself and looking to see what challenges you've been letting stop you. So it works for most large groups, but parenting groups and churches are all very, very popular organizations. Can you be specific for our referral agents of what type of groups you have spoken for so they can better identify those opportunities Absolutely. For I've spoken for scouting organizations. I've spoken to parenting groups with like parenting, parent teacher organizations at schools that have disabled programs. Uh, I've also spoken at several churches. So those are some of the places that I have history with. And so those are easy referrals because they understand what I'm talking about and makes it easy referral for them. Perfect. Tell us what your deal is. Tell us what's in it for the referral agent. My deal is 5% of any deals that I bring in as a result of phone calls from you. Somebody who's willing to take my call and then hires me to do a keynote. And my keynotes are $3,000, so you refer me and I'll send you a check. I can do the math. Yeah, there you go. Okay, if there was any one thing you would tell the referral agents to help them identify opportunities for you, what would that be? Like I said, I'm just looking, I'd like to meet the folks that you hear who are looking for a great inspiring speech, something that's going to leave everybody feeling good at the end of the day. It's not a teaching lesson at all, and uh, just, I'd love to have that introduction. Would you be comfortable taking questions from Absolutely. the audience? Absolutely. Dee? <laughs> it just so happens I have a question. There you go. Uh, who are the people that would contact you? Like if we run into, some, what, at what position would they hold at the school or at the church or at a scouting organization? It's a valid point. Probably you're, you're looking for the folks that are organizing the events, uh, fundraising events and things like that are going to be somebody who would definitely reach out to me. If you're talking about the school, you're probably looking for the folks who organize the parent-teacher events. So it might be the principal or even a uh, counselor on campus 
might be a good potential referral for me because they're going to be the ones who are looking for those speakers to come in. Any other questions? Great job. Thank you.